Здравейте! Започва Zoom с мен Ванчела. Днес ще видим интервю с Рой Шин Мърфи, което тя даде специално за телевизия The Voice. Една от най-големите звезди на тази годишното издание на Си Дэнс Фестивал бе Ройшин Мърфи. Добрата новина е, че изпълнителката, която става известна с Молоко, ще изнесе и концерт в София на 17 септември и всички, които са я пропуснали в Черна гора, ще могат да станат свидетели на уникалното и шоу в столицата след месец и половина. Преди да се качи на главната сцена на Си Дэнс, Ройшин намери време да даде кратко интервю специално за зрителите на телевизия The Voice. А шоуто, което ви очаква през септември, е коктейл от страст, удоволствие и впечатляващо изкуство. Във всяко едно изпълнение на Мърфи ще видим уникални костюми и хореографии, на които и Лейди Гага би завидяла. А от интервюто, което следва, ще разберем факти за новия соло албум на Ройшин, мнението и за индустрията и еволюцията и като артист. Подробности за концерта и в София вижте на нашия сайт www.davoice.bg, а сега да чуем и специалната покана, която тя отправи към вас. Come on to the gig, we're gonna have fun, it's gonna be great, I can't wait to get there. Thank you very much. You released your third solo album, Hairless Toys. It's a really interesting title. Can you tell me the story behind it? This was a misunderstanding. The guy that I was working with was had to call the song something. I was gone away, and he thought I was singing that Hairless Toys. I was actually singing Careless Talk. So it was just a misunderstanding. It doesn't mean anything, or maybe it means he's a little crazy. But it's a. I thought it was a nice, bizarre title for a bizarre record, maybe. What do you think about the music industry? Would you say that somehow it corrupts the pure art? It corrupts the soul. It takes the soul and it scrunches now. It's uh, it's all right at the moment. I quite like the record com record industry at the moment. Um, recording industry. Uh, it's. There's, you know, I've been directing videos and things like that. So I find it quite exciting that you can kind of get up and do stuff. A bit more DIY, and you get to kind of have to put your hands on things and sort of communicate with fans, and I, I enjoy all that. You direct your last video, right? Mm-hmm. Last two videos, yes. And can we expect any new soon? Yes, yeah. I've got two more to do actually for this album. To which song? Uh, uh, to Unpredictable is the next single, and um, also there's an amazing remix of House of Glass. That I'm going to do a little video for. Okay, um, you have a very uh, different uh, voice in your songs. Can we tell that this is your signature and uh, it's somehow this is your mood in your art? My, my journey really with the voice, because I started off saying, do you like maintain sweaters, yeah, if it's my body and all this, and putting most <laughs> stupid voices in. So my story with my voice is like every time I'm trying to get closer to sing like I talk, which would be a mistake because I talk horrible like, but, no, but you know, to sing more, more and more and more like Roisin, yeah, and um, that's, been di that's been a difficult and, and, a, and a thing that's, you know, that's evolving all the time, I'm all the time getting closer to that, I think, you know, it's kind of graspable. It's a bit weird that, you know, because your singing voice, and especially when you get influence from America, your singing voice, you know, it's finding that voice that's as true as it can be. But then I don't want to be contrived true, you know, I don't want to be, oh, I'm so sad all the time, yeah. or... Hi, I'm Roisin Murphy, and you're watching The Voice TV. 